Let's head back to Lincoln. Already said hello to Matt Davison earlier in the show. Now we break down Nebraska's opening weekend matchup against BYU. Matt, let's start with BYU's outstanding quarterback in Taysom Hill. And how much of an advantage do you think Nebraska has this year with a less complex defense against a quarterback who can make things happen when things around him break down? Well, he's a great player, Rick. I think everybody's going to see that on Saturday. And, you know, I know maybe a lot of Husker fans, maybe a lot of fans in the Big Ten aren't familiar with Taysom Hill, but he's a great player. He's a big quarterback. Um, he can really be in a lot of different ways. He throws it well. He extends plays. He can also run the ball down the field himself where he's, he's uh, really a big guy to try to take down. So I think tackling is going to be really important for Nebraska's defense. You can say that every week. But with a guy that's this big under center at quarterback, I think think that these guys really this week have to go low, really wrap up around his legs and try to get him to the ground. He's a really impressive player. Meanwhile, as for the Cornhusker quarterback situation, it's my understanding the first couple of weeks, training wheels were still on for Tommy Armstrong during fall camp, but then he improved and progressed over the last couple of weeks. Where do you think he stands in terms of truly grasping this new offense? Well, I think offensive coordinator Danny Langsdorf, along with Mike Riley, they've done a great job of getting Tommy Armstrong up to speed. I think even in the practices that I have seen, he's come a long way since, since the beginning of camp and especially since spring ball. And, you know, Tommy is, is a quarterback that, that's interested in learning. Uh, he, he enjoys going to practice every day. He enjoys watching film. Uh, he's a guy that really enjoys learning the game of football. And so I think it's been easier for him to pick this up. I think they're going to ask him, you know, to go out and manage this offense, maybe some short throws early to get him into, into a good rhythm. They also want to let him know that he can try to do things with his legs, too. You know, I think you're going to see Nebraska move the pocket, move Tommy Armstrong around, and, and really make the defense try to cover him outside of the tackles as well. So, you know, I really look for Tommy Armstrong to, to thrive in this offense. I think they've done a good job getting him ready. Finally, Matt, with the Mornay Pearson L sideline, which player or players will try to make up some of that slack and provide that playmaking experience that DPE gave this team? Well, with Pearson L out, obviously you're going to be looking to Jordan Westerkamp is going to be a big part of this offense. I think he's going to have, you know, an even better season than he had last year. He's tough to cover in the slot. You're going to see them get him the ball in a lot of different ways. I think Jamal Turner, you know, a guy that's been in the program a long time, has been through some injuries. I think he's a guy that you're going to see uh, get the ball on the offensive side and be able to make some things happen. Nebraska is deep at wide receiver, but like other teams, you know, you lose seniors. Nebraska loses Amir Abdullah. They lose Kenny bell and you have to have other guys step in that haven't played a whole lot and a lot of teams are in that situation nebraska's in that situation we're just going to have to have guys that haven't had to play a whole lot are going to have to step up and and really you know carry the bulk of the load on offense matt davison as always great stuff on the huskers enjoy the call against byu this weekend and thanks for the time my friend thanks rick have a great day